This is a really fun song. This is Sweetheart, subtitled Waitress in a Donut Shop. And uh, this was this first appeared on Dan Hicks' last album, Last Train to Hicksville, kind of last album, uh, last Hot Licks album. And uh, 1973, sung by his vocalist Marianne Price, uh, the next year Maria Muldar did it on her second album, Waitress in a Donut Shop. And we're going to take a look more at uh, Maria's version, or the version that was put together by Maria's arrangers and the band behind her, because it's, um, it's actually a little bit more complicated. I might, I, I might touch up, talk about the Dan Hicks version um, a little bit. Ah, okay, let me not, not make any promises. What we have in here is a, first of all, a fairly complicated arrangement, a lot of quick changes, almost everything's happening two beats at a time, and we've got a lot of uh, really colorful jazzy chords, 13th chords, and minor 7 flat fives, and 7 sharp fives, and um, minor ninths. Um, a chord here, this is a dominant chord that um, the easiest name for it is F with G in the bass. I'm playing three notes for an F chord, but the G in the bass is really functioning as the root of the chord, and it's acting as chord five in the key of C. So these three notes, F, A, and C, would actually be the seventh, ninth, and eleventh of a G chord. So I'm going with a, I'm going to, we'd be calling this one G11. Now, just because, now, the argument against that is that, well, you don't have a third or a fifth. That's true, because we only play four notes in most jazz, jazz voicings. Anyway, um, coming up, one of the ways to play Sweetheart. There are a lot of variations you could put in. Um, in Dan Hicks' version, we heard a C6 to an A minor, to a G flat, an A flat 13, to a G13. And in Maria's, we hear something a little different there. Kind of C to A, A7 to A flat 7 to G7. Anyway, that's what we're going to do, is look at something with a lot of chords in it. And in this case, I do have something I don't generally do. And that is a um, tablature to it with at least chord diagrams. So that you're not going to have to follow when I say, well, I've got here, we've got this E minor. Anyway, so we've got tab with the uh, chord diagrams. And uh, no real rhythm in it, but we'll be talking about the right hand and the technique going on in that. So... Coming up, a lesson on Sweetheart, as done by Maria Moldar. 